for Hawkins. Hawkins has a book called um, uh, Truth Versus Falsehood, which has got in it um, all the, uh, every, everything's calibrated, all the books, all the music, uh, all the spiritual texts, uh, all spiritual groups, practices, spiritual teachers, there's a calibration through muscle testing in that book, Truth Versus Falsehood. After reading that book, uh, you know, if, if Hawkins is going to be your teacher after reading that book, it's very, uh, it's very uh, transformational. But, you know, the thing was, I, I got to meet Hawkins a couple of times uh, in, um, in the States, which is in, in and of itself a spectacular uh, privilege. Oh, okay. And, uh, and my view, even though he doesn't talk about it directly, it's kind of obvious that he, he's more or less at a thousand, uh, the highest level of consciousness. And so um, you're not going to get access to books uh, and, and words at a higher level, in my view, my personal view. I mean, you can, I, I respect all your teachers. But for me, having met him, I knew he was the real deal. I knew he was at the highest level. And so, so uh, but however, the man who introduced me to Hawkins also introduced me to my other teacher, uh, 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 who was uh, from the lineage of Ramana Maharishi, this guy here, who's uh, an Indian pathway towards enlightenment, uh, which is the, a non-duality non pathway. Uh, you know, who am I, what am I? So, in, you know, it was like God was saying, these are going to be your two pathways to God. There's the, the, the Ramana pathway, Who, who's talking now? And what is observing who's talking now? And so, so, so that lineage of non-duality, Ramana and Hawkins, because now the, the non-duality non Ramana pathway is more or less at the level of 700. And Hawkins, 720, yeah, around 700. And Hawkins is going all the way up to a thousand. So, but you know, for me, there was a lot of there was a lot of benefit in practicing the observer. And I and I met a teacher, and I and and I still, you know, in this group, I share with the group the feel the feelings, which is from Hawkins. Hawkins letting go process is what I share here. I call it feel the feelings, but it's his letting go practice, let go of labeling and allow everything without resistance. Um, and the observer practice, uh, you know, which is uh, originating, shall we say, from Ramana, I also share in this group. There's a, but they're both, at enlightened, they're both enlightened practices that will take you all the way to non-duality and full release of your ego, which I share in this group. Hawkins also re recommended um, the Course in Miracles, as you all know, but I had so many severe physical illnesses and so many miracles happen in doing the Course in Miracles that I did the workbook. He recommends the workbook, the lessons, that's where, uh, and so I don't really read the text, I just do the daily lessons. Uh, so many illnesses uh, miraculously left me as I did the Course in Miracles lessons, practicing the observer and the field of feelings, which is what I share in, in this group. The, the attraction to other teachers um, was nearly non-existent. It seemed like God showed me very quickly the pathway of non-duality, the Indian pathway, and very quickly Hawkins. And it was like it was burned beyond my ego that those would be the two things that I'd be interested in. And there wasn't, and even though Hawkins listed a whole table of teachers, there's a teacher at 800, there's a teacher at 700, there's a teacher at 600, there are teachers that calibrate at 500, there are teachers in the 400s, all of these different spiritual teachers. But I had profound spiritual experience with these two teachers. And so there was no, it was like it was already set for me. So the, the, you know, to buy a book for like 10 other teachers at all the different levels, which just wasn't, there was nothing there for me. So I understand with a lot of other spiritual students, they want to, okay, this one's, let me read a bit about this one, let me go on to this one, but it was already set in me. I've got nothing against people exploring. I think every, for any student that wants to go through, you know, his list of high teachers and go through them, I think they all have interesting, but I think, you know, the thing with Hawkins is a living teacher. I mean, if you, you, tr you can't really talk to Buddha and ask him, look, I didn't quite understand um, what you said in this 300-year-old book, you know, did you mean it that way or did you mean it that way, you know, so it's like, you know, and, and, and you know, like Hawkins has got hours and hours of lectures 
uh, and audio materials and audible, which you can listen to. So you get the context, you get the context, whereas, you know, a script, you know, Jesus, you know, it's like there's a few scribbles from the, in the Bible. There's not really that much in there, really. So I can't really speak to him. I haven't got a video, like 10 hours of video that I can listen to. And I can't really listen in on what he said to his disciples. That's not really uh, in depth. So I'm gravitating towards Hawkins and these more recent teachers at very, you know, Romana's teachings and, and so we say, and Hawkins' teachings. So um, I did, you know, um, and I share this, and it's my big thing, and I say on, on thing, you know, he, Hawkins recommend, you know, uh, one of his, if you listen to his lectures, he always plays this music. Mm -hmm. It's Alleluia to Robert Gass. Uh, you can uh, you can get the CD or you can look it up on various platforms. Alleluia Robert Gass, which he calibrated about 720. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and you know, that's that, you know, Andrea Pacelli's in the 500s. Um, you know, there were, when I first heard that, to be honest, you know, I was listening to Mozart, Bach and Beethoven, and then also to Pachelbel's Canon. And then, I, but then it was like very, very quickly goes like, Okay, Mozart's 515 and Alleluia Pachelbel's Canon 700. Okay, so what, which one do you, you know, like if you want to be enlightened and you want to, you want to get there as quickly as possible, do you want to listen to 500 or do you want to listen to 720? So then I couldn't really, then it was like, well, even now for many, many years, I'm just listening to the same thing, which is Alleluia to Robert Gass, Pachelbel Canon. Because why? It's because everything... It is an attractive field. You know, if you go into Hawkins, everything has an attractive field. Every book you read has a, has a level of vibration. Every music you listen to has a vibration. Every spiritual group you go to has a vibration. You know, so, like, if I'm going to go to spend the whole day in a gangster rap music venue, uh, listening to gangster rap music, there is a, there's a, it has a level of consciousness. It has a field. It has an energetic vibration. And there's a risk of my ego, even though you can transcend it, there's a risk of tuning into that vibration and being attuned to the collective vibration that's going on with gangster rap music and people who are taking drugs, alcohol and ecstasy around you non-stop. Uh, you know, if people are in a group practicing the observer uh, for an hour, that's going to have its own vibration. Or if people are doing the Course of Miracles for an hour, that's going to have its own vibration. But then it's like, if you can through muscle testing, if you can find the vibration of everything and you want to be as free, then I want to choose the teachers, the books. My favorite book is um, I, Reality and Subjectivity, which is the highest calibrated mm. book that uh, Hawkins read. You know, so, you know, it's like, okay, I've read, all of Hawkins, I've read nearly all of Hawkins' books, but I want to read that one over and over and over again. I, I more or less read it until it was falling to pieces, I had to buy another one, then I got it on, uh, then I got it on my Kindle, so I can read it on my Kindle. Because that's, uh, you, know, the, you know, I want to be in the enlightened state. So, yeah, Hawkins has written books for people who are beginners, like Letting Go and Power Versus Force. But I want to be in that totally free place, the non-dual. So, the resonances. So, the music, that's, that's basically it. Alleluia. I had an exploration phase for a short term. Andrea Pacelli CDs and, and classical music. But now it's like Packer Bells at 700. Uh, to Alleluia, and my two t and if there's a book, I would probably want to read it. Be I reality and subjectivity, unless I'm doing something like I mean, like there was a time when I was doing the group, and I was trying to, you know, and it's useful to read Hawkins stuff to talk to different levels of consciousness, and the different things, like you know, in this group, many people come at different levels, so I need to be able to relate to people at different levels of consciousness, but. Personally, at home, I'm not interested in enlightenment. I'm not interested in being a uh, practicing unconscious. I'm not interested in the 400s. I'm not interested. So I just try and immerse myself in the highest level of consciousness through music, through teaching. I listen to Hawkins on Audible. Mm -hmm. I have DVDs of Hawkins. Um, I like his 2002 lectures. I think they were, they were very, very advanced. Uh, and his, uh, his, some of his last lectures in 2002 you can get that on Audible, uh, audible.co.uk. I thought there was, uh, I think the great thing with Hawkins, when he first started teaching, he was still teaching at advanced level. Um, and then the more years he spent teaching, he, it became a bit dumber, not because he became dumber, he was talking to so many people at a low level of consciousness. 
you know, year after year of like, you know, how can I earn more money? And uh, year after year out of, you know, how, how can I forgive my mother-in-law? So it was, so, <laughs> but he talks about Socrates, you know, he read all the books of the Western mm -hmm. world. And so you have to, you have to talk to the audience at the level they're at. So if someone asks you at a, at a consciousness, you have to speak to them. And the levels that were, uh, the levels that came to him, the average calibration was in the 400s. So he spoke to the calibration of the audience, which was in the 400, in the intellectual mind, something that they could grasp to. So, um, yeah, does that answer the question? Uh, yeah.